All right, Larry, I'll do my best. Hey, I, thanks everybody for coming today. It's really amazing to see all these faces. This is awesome. So I want to say a big hey y'all to all you tree huggers, yeah. fellow rednecks, hillbillies, whether you were born here or not. I have traveled the world from my home in Fayette County to report on human rights abuses in every hell hole on this planet. And how ironic that my biggest story is in my backyard. Mountaintop removal is bad for the environment. It's bad for our health. It's bad for human rights. Lindy Town, does anybody remember that place? Yeah. The people who used to live there told me they didn't even know if their doors locked because they never needed to lock them. They were a community and they are nothing now because the coal industry needed to expand the twilight operation. My family settled in this state generations ago in Beards Fork Holler and that holler is now under threat. They will do the same thing to Beards Fork that they have done to Lindy Town and so many other places. They will drive down the property values, they will decimate the water supplies, they will cover the citizens with dust and fly rock and then they will force them out of their homes and bury it. My family's already buried there. We have a family cemetery in Beards Fork Holler. When I was a child, my great grandfather took me up there to set his tombstone in that holler because that's where he wanted to spend his eternity. I don't want to see the rest of the citizens of Beards Fork Holler or any of those hollers buried not until their day has come. This is a huge issue. Make no mistakes about it. It's a huge human rights issue. I was invited to Dublin, Ireland to testify in front of Amnesty International and, excuse me, and the United Nations in regards to the human rights violations that are going on right now in Southern West Virginia. People of the world recognize this, we just need DEP and the EPA and all the other regulatory agencies to recognize this and stand up for what's right. We can do better. This state led the Industrial Revolution and we can lead the next revolution, which is the Green Revolution. Our people are capable. And I'm looking out here now and saying, I think they put a stick in the wrong hornet's nest this time. You guys go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for being with us here today. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Dan Doyle, MD. I'm a coal miner's doctor. Um, for the past 30 years, I've been taking care of coal miners and their families in Fayette County, West Virginia. Um, I've seen the coal miners suffering and dying from black lung. I'm a dues-paying associate member of the United Mine Workers of America and proud of it. I'm not here to attack coal mining today, but I am here to sound a public health alarm about the reckless and destructive practice of mining known as mountaintop removal. As I said, I've taken care of coal miners suffering and dying with black lung for the last 30 years. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, mountaintop removal is ten times worse than black lung. Black lung kills the coal miner. Mountaintop removal kills the miner, his family, children, community. It pollutes the water. Talk to him now. Pollutes the streams. It ruins the places where miners go and their families can fish and can hunt. The science is in. The dangers associated with coal mining in communities and particularly mountaintop removal have been piling up in research studies over the past five to ten years. Harvard University, Washington State University, West Virginia University, Virginia Tech have been coming out with study after study showing the damaging effects that people in coal mining areas suffer higher mortality from cancer, 
higher mortality in general, worse quality of life, worse health indicators overall. Just last month, a study from uh, West Virginia University in Washington State came out showing increased birth defects in mountaintop removal areas compared to coal mining communities without mountaintop removal or coal mining uh, or non-coal mining areas in Appalachia. It's time for us and for our elected officials to make up our minds. Do we want mountaintop removal or do we want healthy communities? We can't have both. Um, it's time for us to put the people's health first and corporate wealth second. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we do have copies of the health study available. Stephanie has them if you, if you would like a copy of it. Uh, Bob Kincaid will speak next. My goodness gracious, that river looks cool and pleasant, doesn't it? For now. For now. My name's Bob Kincaid. I'm the president of the board of directors of Coal River Mountain Watch. And uh, my family has been in the Fayette County area for a number of generations. You know, a little more than a week ago, we marked the 235th anniversary of our freedom in this nation. In those 235 years, West Virginians have given more in the cause of freedom to this nation than any other state in the Union. Our state's dotted with commemorations of our heroes and our heroines. Purple Heart citations adorn our walls. On Memorial Day, flowers mark the graves of those who gave the greatest sacrifice. They gave their all so that mountaineers could be free. That's our motto after all. Mountaineers are always free. Montani Semper Liberi. It's on that flag up there. Now today, in this building behind me, the sanctity of those sacrifices hangs in the balance. A company from India seeks to ruin vast swaths of Fayette County for which Americans struggled and sometimes died. Why? Why? For nothing more than the plain ugly greed of a foreign corporation. SR Corporation of Mumbai, India owns Fraser Creek Mining and they seek today to blast and scrape, to devastate and destroy mountains in one of West Virginia's, what did you call it, Maura? Jewel counties. A county that's drawn millions of people, as she noted, to its natural majesty. The West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection will decide which matters more West Virginia lives, as Dr. Doyle noted, or Mumbai's corporate profits. Mountain. Mountaintop removal is a known, profound threat to human life. You've heard that from Dr. Doyle. The science and the facts, as he said, are inescapable. Cancer, heart disease, and a whole host of nightmare illnesses are the handmaidens of mountaintop removal. So I ask then a simple question. Did those generations of West Virginians, my forebears and many of yours, did they give what Abraham Lincoln called the last full measure of devotion so that some coal company from India could come here and plunder our lands, foul our air, poison our water, steal our future, and kill our people? The answer's easy. What's the answer? No. No! no. Thanks, Bob. That's right. Thank you, Bob. Uh, we can now take questions.
Is this a true mountaintop removal mine or just some other kind of strip mine? It is surface mining, which includes blasting. Uh, someone else can probably speak better to that. Bo, do you want to answer that question? I, well, I'm sorry, what was the question? Oh, is, is this an actual mountaintop removal mine, or is it a contour mine, or is it just a strip mine? Or what, it's what it's a mixture. It's a steep slope strip mining, and they're taking the tops off mountains. Yeah. Other questions? Are they going to decide today, or is it going to make a record and do it before they do it, or how does that work? Well, the surface mine board will hear uh, both sides of the issue, then they'll make a determination later today, or it could go to tomorrow, but the surface mine board will make a determination. Okay. Where do you go from here if they say no? Uh, I think that's up to these good folks in Fayetteville, what, Fayette County, what they want to do. Uh, I think that uh, uh, that should not be happening. There should be no no strip mining going on, no mountaintop removal going on. There should be an immediate moratorium on all mountaintop removal operations, not here, just here. Fayette County, no. everywhere. It's killing people. It's poisoning our babies. And there's no future for uh, our generation, including the guys working these strip sites. Their children, too, are getting poisoned just like ours are. There's, there's uh, no, no one's left out of this.